Well, but like especially for you, for especially, yeah, yeah, daughter, yeah, Jesus, it's just been. She went back to school today, though, so like, oh, that's she's, good. She's kind of, kind of getting there, but it's still, uh, there's still like so much healing to be done, like, uh, like, like a skin infection of that magnitude is insane. Like, uh, it is looks crazy. like she's, yeah, it looks like she was in like a fire or something. She looks like she's got like burns on her. It's crazy. Do you know how yeah. how they get it? How it happened? Yeah. yeah. It's a uh, it's strep. It presents itself uh, as, as a type of uh, it's like strep A, but then um, like one of the things that can happen when you get strep is you get like just a, a bad skin infection, or some people just like barf a lot, or some you know what I mean. Like there's mm -hmm. like a, a bunch of different ways that it presents mm -hmm. itself. So yeah, it's pretty rough. Eh? Oh shit! Thank you. Well, my sister-in-law was telling me that like this was back in like november the dominant flu strain is usually like influenza type b or something like that that season it was influenza type a influenza type b you get a stomach ache you know diarrhea sore throat runny nose weakness chills yeah. influenza a there's like a five percent chance your legs stop working jesus what? christ that's a bad one yeah that's nasty it is nasty. Five percent. I ain't freaking with that. Not not for life, but like for the until you get uh, oh healthy still, again. That's you know. Oh no. Um. Yes. Big par. Big, big par. par. Big, really big par. Really big. Really, really, really big par. Yeah. Big par. Big par. So yeah, not that much. Like really, is going on over here, especially comparatively. Comparatively, I know it's always the way, though, right? You think you you think you're you're busy, and then you hear about somebody else having like a shit time. You're like, well, you know what? It's not so bad. <laughs> it's not, it's not so busy. I wish that was me right now. Yeah, man. Like I had to do laundry yesterday. That was awful. Oh, How often do you do laundry, Malf? Uh, once a week for sure. Sometimes mm -hmm. twice. I'm a two x like... weekly at this point. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I imagine. No. I imagine you would be. Um... Yeah. Hey, what do I do on this one? Uh, you gotta hit it hard up. You see the arrows on the wall? Oh, you gotta, you gotta hit get it into sucked the up arrows. into the tube. Yeah, oh, yeah into the tube. Yeah. I'm in yeah. the tube. Oh. It's like, man, man it's, it's I wild. I could have one-shot that, had I known. Yeah, you guys should be could've. really embarrassed right now. I am. Um, After, like, ten years of using shared laundry machines, it's so nice to just be able to, like, oh. not wait in an elevator and, like, the whole like song and dance of waiting for other people to finish using the machine. How about the the best part of having your own laundry machine, leaving your shit in the dryer for like a week after it's done, and then just <laughs> picking your outfit out of the dryer clothes. I I, I need to do that. We like we we make the mistake of actually folding laundry and putting it away and stuff, but. I'm trying, I'm working on my, I'm trying to say to my wife, listen, we just need big plastic containers. And when the laundry is clean, just chuck it all in there. Don't fold it, nothing. Just chuck it well, all. Like one container for socks. You got to fold it if undies. it's, if it gets wrinkled, you got to fold it. Yeah. Or you just wear it wrinkly the next time and I guess don't care, which is also yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. I think okay. if you buy a lot of just polyester clothes, they don't go too wrinkly, right? Is that your preferred fabric? Well, if it doesn't, latex. if it doesn't Chiffon. wrinkle up, then yeah, or latex would be fine too. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I, that oh, I, shit. uh oh. I I, I I'm like oh. it, my laundry is kind of like shameful because I have to run like um. I have to run it twice as often because I have like all these really really stinky gym clothes, and then I get too lazy to fold the second load of laundry that's in the dryer. So eventually, oh, my wife will just have to like knock on my door and be like, "I really need to watch a bunch of or wash a bunch of baby stuff for yeah. our baby. Like, could you please yeah. vacate your clothes out of the dryer?" And I'm like, "Oh, I mean, sorry, you have sorry." Stinky gym clothes. Like, oh, mine, mine aren't even stinky gym clothes. It's just like gamer stank. That's it. I just like uh, my clothes smell like I sit around at a computer for 14 hours a day gaming because that's all I do. <laughs> what is what is gamer stank though? Oh, just it's like a, just like a really stinky sort. Like, uh, like, uh, have you ever smelled a pair of track pants? Uh, well, you probably have, right? Have you ever worn track pants to the gym before? Yeah. And gotten really sweaty in them, and then they kind of stink after. You know, like, because uh, it's like a he like they're like a heavy fabric with 
some like uh, baked in stink because of your your sweating. I think that is is gamer stank, honestly. Mm. Like I think mm. it's that. I think it's just you you sitting around getting all clammy and your clothes absorbing it all up and then stinking. Yeah. I think for me, gamer stank is like when you could take your underwear off when you get in the shower and you can smell your genital region with, <laughs> without having to do the, the test, you know? Like, when you could just yeah, smell yeah, it too. ambiently, then that's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say I've never been there, but... <laughs> oh, God. You that's just a take bad your one. underpants off and it just... The, the this enveloping smell or like when you go to the bathroom and you're like oh i need to shower <laughs> i don't i've been there but i have not been there in a long time i'm a i'm a i'm a one a day consistent shower different people oh, no. like i get into this argument quite frequently different people they got different needs i need to be one a day not everybody yep. needs to be there some people are once every two days some people once every three days some people are probably t twice a day i'm a i'm oh. a once a day that's my equilibrium yeah i i'm a once a day as well but timings on the once a day vary like really uh, for example sometimes like i'll shower in the morning but then mm -hmm. sometimes i like to shower at night instead clean bed. but then there's like a crossover every once in a while where i'll have showered in the morning and then the yeah. next day you got like a 36 hour night. so yeah it's mm. like it's like just gone over a day but it doesn't happen that often i've switched hard to oh, to, to night showers it's nice it is nice it's nice to go it's, to bed clean yeah right and then if i really feel like i need it for whatever sometimes i will shower in the morning as well just as like a, a little wake me up or yeah. Um, but by and large, the night showers, it's nice. I don't think that, like, I can go outside without showering. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to perform at, at the level I need to perform at to accomplish basic errands. Yeah, I get that, which is kind of nice because I don't go outside that often um, now. So, like, sometimes I will wait to shower in the morning if I know I'm going to be out and about. But I have the same feeling. It's like when you go outside and you don't have your wallet. Oh, and dude. You, you just feel you have this like weird aura of nakedness, you know? It's like that. No, I hear that for sure. I would just, I'd be like a, well, you know what? It's weird because I have this thing too. Like, I feel like I can't stream if I don't have socks on. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I know. Like, it just, I, I don't that. feel like I could be at my, at my best. Like my, it's almost like the, the tip of my head and the tip of my toes make like a circuit for, for conversation. Like I need to have socks right. on in order to complete the circuit. <laughs> it, I know it's weird, yeah. but like, uh, yeah. I, I, I think if I go outside without showering, I would be like, oh, yeah. everybody. Knows have you ever, have worm. you ever streamed in, you're wearing a t-shirt, yeah. but you're not wearing socks and you're wearing a bathing suit. Uh, no, it's I, like your bottoms. I've never done that. Have never. you ever done that? I've never done it, but I would feel comfortable doing it if I had. To. Really? I know this for sure. Yeah, it wouldn't one bug time, me too much. One time in third grade, I forgot my gym shorts, and you got in trouble if you didn't wear shorts. So I just like played it cool and pretended like my plaid boxers were. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was sad that oh, nobody said anything. Oh, uh, it dude. Was... I remember my brother my brother ran out of clean underwear one time and wore a bathing suit as his underwear like un <laughs> so he had his bathing suit on underneath a pair of jeans like as underwear that's one just one, one time right? yeah i don't i guess he just really needed something under there but i mean Dude, this is an honest question. I, I know it's not going to be, uh, I mean it's a long time ago now, 3rd grade, but like how did you run in boxer shorts with like nothing constraining you if it wasn't your stuff just flapping around all over or like okay it's like, like a little too vulgar but i feel like i i don't wear tidy whities i wear boxer briefs but Same like way. if i was wearing like silk boxers i feel like the tip of my you know what would be rubbing up against the boxers on every single <laughs> like <laughs> every every stroke of my leg so i i just would i wouldn't be able to focus i'd be like this is just too much it's not even like, oh, like, oh, this feels so good. You just be like, oh, this is like stimulation overload. Yeah. I mean, anyway, I your thoughts? I, 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 uh, I, I was just, just thinking like, about the tip of your you-know-what right now. I just can't get that out of my mind. I was paranoid about the button 
you know, it had like a little button on the front too. So. Oh yeah. And I, I do remember we were yeah, at the start of gym. We're all sitting in the circle and you're crossing your legs. I was like, I just hope something doesn't like poke out, you know? Oh, I hear that. You know, you get, uh, you get those boxers. Sometimes I, I don't wear boxer briefs. I just wear full boxers with like the little, um, that's so you know, Canadian. Like the, the, the little the the little flap thing at the front. Did you right? buy them yeah. at the no, Hudson's Bay Company? No, 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 no. That's I mean I would have had to buy them like over twenty years ago. Like, I, I like <laughs> yes, to that's true. Like, at least once a couple of years. Order them online. Or order them online. Yeah, like. Do they ship said. to to Jersey? Sure. Uh, the Hudson's Bay Company. Do they still exist? I thought. Oh, they went, dude. Yeah. No, or they're... was it Eaton's that went? Eden, I don't Eden's think is really gone, around right? anymore. Zellers the is gone. Center, it's the mall, but I don't even yeah, think it's but... called the Eden Center anymore, though. Is it in yeah, Toronto? Isn't yeah, it yeah, called the like one, the Cadillac the Fairview uh, well, Retail like... Emporium or something? Oh yeah, the, the, I think Cadillac Fairview bought them out or something. Oh. The Eden is still in it. It's like the Cadillac Fairview Eden Center, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, apparently, it's still back. the place, right? As far as I knew, right? At, at least it's not uh, the Rito Center. The Rito, <laughs> the Le Centre Rito. God, I miss the old Rito. Oh, that's where I, I've seen um, some of my favorite movies. There, I saw the first Pirates of the Caribbean. There, I saw Reign of Fire. There, and I saw Super Why there? there. Well, it's Why? just uh, well of all places. So you know, I grew up in that... Kingston, and like oh, right. my parents. They wanted to like take me on vacation, but they didn't want to take like a lot of time off work. So we would just drive like two hours to Ottawa or something like that, and then go see a movie at a different movie theater. <laughs> I saw the Jackass movie at the Rito Center. Hey, what the heck? The very, the very first one. But listen, what I was saying about the boxers, I got yeah, the yeah. so I got the pocket with the button, and then you got like the like the stitching that leads up to the pocket. Right. And sometimes, depending on like how you're walking or running or you've been sitting. Sometimes the tip of your you know what will rub up against that motherfucker and it hurts like hell. <laughs> no, I, I really couldn't it, agree it more. It makes it raw. Yeah, like I hate that. I would be tempted to switch to boxer briefs just to avoid that situation, but you know, I don't know. It doesn't happen enough to box to really They're just to. nice, you know. They they're I I feel like they're their form, their function. They they got everything the body needs. Mhm. Mm it's it's like if you drew a line of best fit graph. That's boxer briefs right there. It's the line of best fit. I'm on the elevator. I've done it. I've only I gone did. and done it. It's just like we've solved men's underwear. I am surprised when I when I hear that. No, no offense, Sips, but I'm right. surprised when I hear adult men say that they wear boxer shorts. Yeah, well, I'm I'm an older guy, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, like you should be on the, the tidy whiteies yeah. then. I, I used to have a, I used to have the, uh, the, the, the Yves Saint Laurent, uh, boxer briefs. So, uh, when I was, uh, when I was a young buck, oh. I used to have a yeah. couple of pairs of those bad boys. When you're Calvin it Klein's. up and you're like, yeah. oh, I might get lucky tonight. I had some Calvin <laughs> Klein's as well. I mean, yeah. You never Ooh, know. Wait, I might get lucky tonight. Let me put on my Joe boxers with a, a <laughs> dog with sunglasses, giving a thumbs up that Dude, says, don't a have a cow, Joe, man. Joe boxers were like the Kleenex of the, the boxer brief world. If it, yeah. all the coolest you didn't guys, say, I'm gonna put on my box of Man, or... Kleenex is crazy, eh? Like the, the <laughs> fact that the brand is just known at, you know, like you, you say, pass me and Band So true, too, yeah. so true. Pass me a Kleenex, like uh, you, you'd say that about even like a no-name brand one, right? You would just call it a, yeah. a Kleenex. It's incredible. Well, not me. Or when I, I'm very specific. So if I'm at uh, like a restaurant, I'll say, can you please pass me some Western Family facial tissue? Could you pass me a Loblaws brand <laughs> facial tissue, please? <laughs> And some PC Blue Menu sparkling uh, lemonade, please. I do hate. People were telling me a while ago at some places in the states, if you ask for a Coke in Ooh. a restaurant, they'll ask yeah. you like, "What do you want?" And then you say, yeah. "I'll have a Pepsi." Like, yeah, what? Coke is a. Uh, it's regional for soda in in parts of America. Really, I hate that. My my two cents though is that there's no good word for soda. Because soda sounds like so formal, and then yeah. pop sounds so like I don't know. I don't, I don't want to offend anybody, but it, it just so sounds kind of like you could say so deep pop. I so. mean, if it's between Coke and Pepsi, you could say a cola, and then they'd be like, "What kind?" I'll, I'll I have a that, soft drink, please. Like, what does that I even mean? The, the same way that Coke is like uh, has become like uh, the word for soda in America, 
has to be the same way that Pepsi has become the word for soda in Quebec, right? Like uh, it has. Wait, is that? I didn't know that. It, it must be. Yeah, I'm. I'm. No. I'm not sure 100 percent if <laughs> that's the case. I'm guessing, but who are your sources on? Source, this? I made it up. <laughs> well, I made it up, but me, I, but from my from my experience, uh, everyone in French Canada loves a Pepsi. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I just uh, distinctly mm. remember them being like pro Pepsi. I do not. seem to remember uh, anytime not I so ordered a, a pizza getty, a double pizza. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I would always get a, a cup of Boreal and a uh, and a Pepsi. The Pepsi was just like it was like the bread at Olive Garden. They just they just hand it out. I will say a pitcher of Pepsi hits different. Oh, at, at like a Pizza, pizza Hut lunch buffet yeah. Yeah, or a birthday party. As I, I used to think it was the height of class when we went to Denny's, which was like once every three years, and you get like a little carafe of orange juice or something like that. Yo, oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh. oh, that hurts. You got it in three strokes, huh? Three. You know, I was in the mood. Why are you <laughs> such a cheater? Hey, I started playing Hitman 3 uh, today because there's this new like roguelike yeah, 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 contract. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing that tomorrow. Yeah, I'm it's excited. it's fun. It's hard, but it's I haven't played Hitman in a while, so I'm a bit out of practice. But it's really fun so far. It's my intention to play it, but I have to beat Midnight Suns first so I can free up the 80 gigs on the hard drive necessary to install <laughs> Hitman. Uh, I saw that you're still playing that. Is that is it that long? Like, why is it taking so long it's... to? Uh... It's a lot longer when you only stream like 25 hours a week and you only play oh, it like yeah, once every course. four days. And then you yeah. you also play through all the DLC in one stream that just came out last Wait, week. Wait, there's DLC for that too? It, it, it just came out. All right. It has Deadpool and, and his own unique brand of chaos. Mm. Oh. Did Ryan Reynolds do the <clears throat> voice work for it? He did not. But actually, I mean, like I know we're in like a post Deadpool is cool era. They did a pretty good job with the with the Deadpool stuff. How many Deadpool movies were there? There's two, and two. I think they're making they're the third on one. The three. Yeah, right. with Wolverine. <clears throat> I can tell they're making the third Hugh one because I can't go fucking anywhere in Vancouver without like a, a sign that says "Filming in progress." Please uh, walk 17 kilometers out of your way to uh, get to the coffee shop you were trying to get to. Oh, that's kind of cool though. Dude, I mean, at least it's for Deadpool instead of the uh, global original series. Uh, family Law, which screwed up my whole routine uh, last summer. I was family like, why? But literally, literally, there's like more people walking around the film set right now than are going to watch the show at any point in its existence. So, like, you should basically just put the kibosh on it to begin with. Oh, Did you guys God. watch that 90s show? <clears throat> yeah. I, I will never. I no, I, I was thinking of never watching it myself, but <laughs> on the off chance that maybe it's not as terrible as it looks, I thought so, I should ask. I mean, it's got <clears throat> more of Red and Kitty, which is Pog. Right. And then... Well, for, uh, oh, Red and Kitty, like, from the, from that 70s show, like, the, yeah, the mom so and dad Yeah, so, like, with the, like, basically, uh, Eric and Donna have, like, their daughter, and then she likes Point Place or wherever it takes place, so she actually spends the summer living with Red and Kitty. Um, oh. And it's just like a lot of it is pretty much the same as that 70s show where they like hang out in the basement and stuff and there's like, you know, it's, it's not terrible, but it's, I mean, it's certainly not good. It's not good. Do they uh, still smoke weed in a circle? Yes. I think that's fucked up. It's not legal yet. <gasps> no. Wow, um, oh, this is a, this is a tough one. This is tough, yeah. Well, you have like a, I don't know, maybe like a 22 stroke advantage right now. So I think you're probably in the clear. I just did the same thing. I, oh wait, no, no, slightly different. Oh. Good. Perfect. You're giving narc vibes. I'm not going to narc on him. I just said I don't support it. I'm just, but I am happy that if they're doing it, they're doing it under my roof in a place that's safe. Okay. Hanging out. Do, 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 do. Same across the street. <laughs> do, do, do. Is it the same music? Yeah, it's like a '90s kind of version of it, but oh right. Yeah, so it sounds like uh, like uh, like Nickelback rock, rock, this time. Rock punk? No. <laughs> or no, maybe no. like Creed. Nickelback is like early 2000s. Uh, I guess it is. Yeah. Late '90s right. maybe, but you're right. It's like probably more late '90s. Did I struck out? I struck. I struck out, man. 
But it's ironic because How You Remind Me would be like a great theme song for the show because it's all about like, um, you know, Thinking hey, remember this? Show, yeah. Exactly. This is this how, how you remind me of that 70s show. <laughs> <laughs> Never made it as an Eric. <laughs> Couldn't cut it as a Kelso neither. But one of the one of the actors from that '70s show is uh, is like in jail, right? Yeah. Or should be in jail. Yeah, he's a uh, bunch of sexual assault, rape allegations. Allegedly, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like the devil. Right. He got Donna into Scientology. Too. Really? Apparently, what, like, he was uh, the one. Really? Or like the actress that plays. Donna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, that's not a plot on that 90s show? It should Donna be, Donna escaping from the well, Church of Scientology? The, I, I yeah, when did Scientology, Scientology start up? No, it was, it, it's, it'd been around Aren't for Aren't we while. about due for, like, another cult? Um, maybe? If you're lucky, if you play your cards right. I think we I think we're still processing it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dude, that Tom, man, why does Tom Cruise gotta be, I think movies are so fun isn't it John Tra like john um, john travolta john cruise jo who the heck is john cruise john cruise he changed changed his name the, i mean the scientology the, thing they're john it's all john they would be the most be powerful ah. actor of all time if you combine the john acting of of tom cruise <laughs> with um i don't know the height of john travolta <laughs> Well, uh, uh, John no, Travolta's John cheeks are like camel humps. They, 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 like, John like Travolta in um, I Am Wrath. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. when he says it's wrathing time. Is one of the <laughs> moments in, in cinema history. What was that Ooh. movie that he was in um, that... Uh, that that wasn't very good. It was like a like a sci-fi one, and he had he looked like oh, a Klingon. Battlefield oh, Earth. yeah. I mean, oh, that's the one. Yeah. I think it's an uh, understatement to say that Battlefield Earth wasn't very good. <laughs> I never saw it. I just it heard, got like three percent on Rotten. I heard Tomatoes it was pretty bad. Yeah. It's uh like unambiguously in the running for worst movie ever made. I'd say at least worst movie they got like a wide release. Why it's got some great quotes me? though. Is it going down the wrong one? You gotta, you gotta jump, apparently. I don't know. Oh, you gotta <laughs> jump? How do you jump? Space? Just click on the mouse button. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, no, I was thinking too much oh, about John work. Travolta in, I'm, like, Greece. Dude, and, Whoop. like, that one you told me to watch, The Poison Rose, where he's getting uh, sniped at on the football field, and he uh, kills the sniper with a perfectly thrown spiral. I, and you know what? I think that movie is the, is the, um... The Brendan Fraser Renaissance. That's what kicked it, it off. It is. <laughs> it's hard to believe that he wasn't nominated for an Oscar for his portrayal of the mental hospital uh, doctor in that movie. What's there's a new? Isn't there a new Brendan Fraser movie out now? Or is that the, the one whale. that he was nominated for, The Whale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, he's got the the Mummy reboot, The Daddy. The Daddy. Okay, but what is The Whale about? Because if it's about what I think it's about, based on the picture on the on the front. Like, is it good? Like, he was nominated I've, for. Uh, I haven't an Oscar seen it. Ride. No, he got like a ten-minute standing ovation. Did he? Yeah, at, like one of the like Toronto International or some film festival, I think. Toronto. Maybe not the Toronto one. Hey, that's a know. big film festival. Jeff is huge. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it is now. Yeah, get fricked, kid. Sorry. It's it's, it's better than Viff. Let's put it Ottawa, that way. Not Ottawa. This Ottawa. That. <laughs> Ottawa. Well, He's well, always yeah, talking about Ottawa. Ottawa. Oh, yeah, they drink Pepsi that. in Quebec, which is closer to Ottawa. <laughs> oh, oh, have you guys ever okay, been to the Museum right. of Civilization? You're not even from Toronto, Malfa. I don't no. know why you're defending it so uh, so, so passionately. Because, you know, when you live it's there not, for... I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying no. anything about Kingston, Ontario here. I'm, saying, uh, I'm talking about Toronto. Can, you can say whatever you like, it. honestly. Oh, you're not? No. I thought uh, you were from Kingston. Technically, the closest city would be... I mean, I was born in Napanee. So I'm an average right. stand. So anytime you come at Nickelback, <laughs> right. you know, just I got to cuz they're married, right? So no, I they gotta, used to they 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 are. They Did broke up. They up? broke Yeah, but like maybe 11 years ago or something. What? No, they got married 11 years no, ago. No, I'm they? they broke up a long time ago. But oh, if they you. broke up 11 years ago, the Avril Lavigne would have been like 13 years old. Isn't she like a kid or like just No, she's just like she's an like adult a couple years older than me. Yeah, she's, she's probably like 37. Yeah, what she's the hell? she's in between us, Sips. 
Uh, I'm glitched out. This is not very. I don't fun. believe you actually about that. Oh well, my god, I ran out of you, shots. Uh, oh, check the Wikipedia. Oh, actually, <laughs> Bad look, she's 38. There you go. She's 38. Never kissed a girl. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> where, where did that time go? God. No, I did not go to NDSS. I did not. Boo! Boo! Uh, what, are, what are they? The, the eagle? The golden eagles or something? Boo! Uh, the griffins? Uh, I forget what they were. I always, I, I never tell people what high school we went to, but if you're from Kingston or the surrounding area, I always just let them infer by asking about like the seven most noteworthy high schools, and I'm like, oh, it's not one of those. And yeah, then, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, you definitely, you just strike me as having KCVI energy, and I'm like, I wish, man. LaSalle. I remember when we went to KCVI for the... Uh, the trivia team Re regional yeah, tournament, and I, I was like, I didn't know that other schools like could be this good. Like their cafeteria had vegetables in it. They had like like more than one hallway. It was crazy. Oh, it's huge. Do you remember that one guy in the competition? He was like, he was he was sketching on paper, and he wouldn't even put his head up, and they would just like answer the question. He keep sketching because he thought it was so cool. Like, I oh, I'm that sketching guy, yeah. and I'm like getting all this right. I just wanted to. You remember how our team went, uh, like, 0 and 6? You were the <laughs> only one who knew anything. I think I got, I got, I remember specifically, it was like, what's the, the Heisman? What's that guy's name? The Heisman. Heisman? Yeah, there was a question about that, and I said the Heinzman or something like that, and they're like, ah, that's close enough. That's like the one thing I got right. What the fuck? I just remember we, we have a mutual friend they gave who was you a on point the team. For the Heinzman? Dude, we needed it. We yeah. needed what we could get. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> But uh, we have like a mutual friend and the, it was like, we'll name, everybody had to answer the question. Like it wasn't in order. It wasn't just like one person could buzz in on this one. And they were like, we're going to name four professional athletes. You tell us what franchise they played for. And they were like, Maurice Richard, Jean Beliveau, uh, Doug Harvey, Patrick Wait, Waugh. Maurice Richard. His yeah, ass buzzed in and he's like, mm. Chicago Blackhawks. I was like, Come we're this. This was at like 9:01 a.m. We're gonna be there for eight hours. So I'm like, this is gonna be a long ass day. <laughs> well, good oh, match, everybody. Good nice. match. It was good close. Match, it was pretty close. Holy right. crap! That also give that about 14, 14, 14. <laughs> yeah, right. It's impossible. Uh, the Heinzman has always been a big thing. I don't know how you're gonna you're gonna guess the Chicago Blackhawks with a name like Maurice Richard, right? Like. You hear Maurice Richard, Patrick Waugh, and then three other French names. And I know, like, yes, yeah. The Chicago Blackhawks? Well, the worst part is that I, I know that he just chose them because he's from Chicago. Oh. So I was like, if anything, you should pick any other team because you're probably most likely to know the team, the players from the team where you grew up. I'm, I'm also remembering because someone in chat said, "Does LaSalle High School mean anything to you?" Yeah, yeah, one of the one of the days we were supposed to do trivia, they were gonna come to our school for a home game. Our ass is sitting in like the resource room for 90 minutes, and then our coach comes in and says, "Oh, they canceled on us. Everybody go home." But this fucking school bus left like 45 minutes before that. So yeah, what the hell are we supposed the to late do? Bus, man, <laughs> Jesus, I hated the late bus. Oh, you don't want to be on the late bus, man. It's like being Wait, part this, of the breakfast club. Was this uh, elementary school that you took the bus school. to school? This is 12th grade. What? Did you guys live far away from school or something? You had yeah. to take the bus? Yeah, yeah we both, drove. Both, both, both public school and high school. We drove a little bit in the in the 11th and 12th grade, but... Yeah. Not every day. But not... It was not walking distance. No, not even... At. No, yeah. Not even That close. might, like, for public school, it was like a, a half-hour journey. Jesus. You gotta get up. School starts at like, you know, 6.51 a.m. at that age. Oh, those are the days, man. You just oh, like... Oh, my uh... God. Did you guys have a rotunda at your high school? <laughs> we did not, did I don't have... think. Uh, oh a God. rotunda. No. Wow. I would've, we would have killed for a rotunda. We had a rotunda. It was really sweet. It had a bench, a, a round bench in it, like a big circular uh, meeting space. It was like the central point of the school. It was great. See, this is like what you were saying earlier. Like, I thought uh, you ha were having a hard week, and then I find out that you had a rotunda in your high school, and I'm like, <laughs> no, oh, jeez. No, like, yeah. <laughs> How the other half lived, huh? Like, that's, uh... <laughs> we didn't, just, we just... didn't have a rotunda. We had, a, like, a line tunda. We had a bench. 
Yeah. And then for lunch oh, they fed sucks. us cigarette butts that they scraped <laughs> off of the off of the pavement outside. Did you guys have a smoking section at your high school? We or did, you... yeah. Yeah. Yes, we had one it, too. although you weren't like allowed to smoke, but it was like this weird. You weren't allowed to. No, I can't remember. Or it was like, I don't know, I think if you were. No, it's just like if you were underage kind of thing. But like a lot of time, people didn't, kids didn't get busted for it. They would like, they there was a specific area that was far enough away. So like if they saw a teacher coming, they would just like hide it kind of. Right. Thing. Right. You know. Um, is a rotunda brag worthy? I would if say. If you're talking yeah. about a high school, I would say yeah, it is. I mean, what oh. else are you gonna say about your high school to make it stand out from the rest? Mm. Not every high school has a rotunda. Most high schools have a cafeteria that then doubles as like a oh. performance stage. For we definitely had that. Like that. Yep. Um, most high schools have a big gymnasium with some locker rooms and showers and stuff attached to them. I would, I would, I would say in the yep. West at least, right? Yeah. Um, did divider. you guys have? Did you guys have a uh, an ice rink, a public ice rink, and a public wave pool attached to your school? Are you? Neither. What did you? Did you go to school at the Le Centre Corel? Uh, it was like um, the the high school was built, and then they built like a leisure center right next to it, but oh. they attached it on. <laughs> so it was heck? like. Uh, but it was it, we we couldn't use the facilities without paying for them. Like they were. You know. still, so at lunchtime you go swimming with the with the old ladies. Well, you could if you wanted to, yeah. If you wanted to go in there and have a little swim but with them. did you? Uh -oh, no. I never did, no. No. I was, um, I was always too busy um, studying and just Wearing just your Asian. Calvin Klein's. Wait, wearing my Yves Saint Laurent <laughs> Saint Calvin Laurent, Klein. Mm, Joe Boxer. <laughs> my Joe Boxer underpants. <laughs> yeah, that's see, Dad, no. Everybody's like, what are you bragging about? Well, I got a lot to brag about. I went to my high school, turns out. It's not too bad. Seems pretty good. Dude, I was just talking about the story. Ryan knows this one where a guy, he would live down the street from me, but uh, he saw that some, uh, I don't know what school they were originally from. They are in like the computer tech oh, like, this is my favorite. program. And they brought in, it's like a two foot by two foot by the half foot slab of ice and put it on the cafeteria table. And then this this very nice guy, but he's a big guy. He comes in and it, this is like when, after he got like a diamond earring and stuff. So he's like super tough. He's like, not in my house. Not in my house, son. Not in. He's like the same age as them. So it was like, oh, man. What the hell? Well, they yeah. brought in that like huge iceberg from the parking lot. And then they were going around to other people's tables and going like, hey, you guys need some ice for your drinks? And we're like, no. It's dirty. <laughs> we weren't that cool, but we were cool enough to know we were cooler than them, at least. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, then he just, he took issue with that happening in his school. I remember. He's, he's like, not in my school. He like, pushed him off his chair onto the cafeteria floor. Not in my school. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he's the same guy one. that um, he, every day after school, he'd get a, he'd get a slushy at the, the, like, the, the corner store, the gas store um, by our subdivision. To the point where he actually just like got one a slushy machine for his birthday, Did you ever but then the it mix? wasn't good enough, so he started just like going back and getting the slushies at the store. Was it from a Max Milk or was it from Becker's? Uh, no, it was uh, oh, what is it? Did you do Fred the mix? Freddy, Freddy's gas or Freddy something? Did it's you like mix the? Did you mix the two flavors together to make uh like a? Like a swirling. No, I flavor. never did. I would always buy. I would save up my my like tips and stuff from work, and I'd buy like a Starbucks Frappuccino because they're like three bucks for a bottle. Oh crap! Yeah. You were you were buying Starbucks Frappuccinos in high school? I wasn't. Yeah, with the money I was, I was, I was. I was. I'm. I'm people... just. Um, I didn't have a cup of coffee until I was like 21. It doesn't count as coffee. It's just like coffee flavored sugar mm -hmm. and milk. Man. I didn't realize. God, it's Only, a close game. You know, this is really this is game. the later years. I would never have a coffee in the morning. That was it was always after. My uh, my measure sips for whether you went to a better high school than Malfa myself is uh, did you have foreign languages that were not just French? Or was it like if you need a foreign language credit, then welcome to French class? No, it was just English and French. Oh, well, well, we didn't 
have not religious so cool studies now. either. Did you guys have re uh, religious studies? We did not. No. no. No, we didn't either. Did you guys have a Catholic school board where you where you were? There oh, is Holy one. Cross yeah. Is in Kingston. We weren't yeah, governed right. by it. We were we were godless, but but there is one. Cool. Crazy how it's also like one of the best uh, high schools in the in the neighborhood. Right. Also went there uh, for like I, I went to cyber sports camp in like 1997 as a second grader. <laughs> what? So it was like on on March break. It was a uh, bunch of elementary school kids would go, and it was like half you know daycare, like play some dodgeball with these other kids, and half like here's how you use uh, Netscape Navigator and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and uh, I just remember that. Well, I don't remember this, but my my mom told me like after day one, I came home from celebrity uh, cyber sports camp, and I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to have a place at Kingston called Celebrity Sports World, which was like a roller rink uh, arcade. But anyway, he uh, or I, I came back from cyber sports camp, and I asked my mom what boobs were. I'd, I'd been introduced to the the riffraff of the the intercity youths. They corrupted so, me. Wait, how old were you when this happened? Like seven. I, I thought you were going to say 17. <laughs> like, what? uh, What's going on in Kingston? Uh, you didn't know what boobs were until you were 17? Come on. Uh, if, well, I, I wouldn't have known what they were, <laughs> except I went to cyber sports camp. So. Well, yeah, that'll, that'll <laughs> that taught me everything I needed. <laughs> it's a crash course in boobs. Also, remember that every day I got a Capri Sun like in my lunch, but I couldn't figure out how the fuck to open it. So I was all, I would yeah, sit there for on. like I would sit there for they like 15 those? minutes and be trying to stab the straw through the thing. Like it's a little embarrassing, but. I've, I've never seen those in Canada before. Oh right? yeah, you see they... them in Europe a lot. But are you <laughs> loco? Well, I just never, I didn't. Did you guys get those high C um like oh, fruit yeah, shoot man. things Absolutely. in like those fucking weird plastic bottles? Yeah, with like, like the those. twisty cap. You ever drink a chubby? No. But there's never. the ones with the foil cap only. I don't know what the cap was like, but they were like, like sodas like the that were small. Like a like a bulb almost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you had to. Those. They were only sold at Giant Tiger. <laughs> Giant Tiger still going? Yep. Oh yeah. Holy crap. My mom said that the one in Kingston, the last time she went by, there was somebody in front of the giant tiger shaving her legs. Nice. It's a classy establishment. It is a classy place, yeah. <laughs> Love a giant tiger. Oh, man. Yeah, just don't tell Dan about it. Why? Because he thinks everything in Canada has, like, hilarious names, and he forgets that, like, what stuff is named in the States. Very true. Yeah. What's the what's the giant tiger equivalent in the States? Giant eagle. Lol. Because <laughs> it's, it's America, be everything's right? got to be named after an eagle. It's a discount store, but it's not. Walmart's not like it, Walmart's like a discount store if you like, but it's not giant tiger discounts, right? Like, giant tiger is like one step up from like a dollar store, right? Yeah, like Probably, yeah. if you had only been to Giant Tiger and then you went in. Well, I guess it's like what it was like in Kingston, right? Like when we finally got a Walmart, we we're like, holy cow, this is this big is lots. nice. It's Apparently. almost like Sears. I, I should put on lots? like a collared shirt to go in here. Dollar Tree? Big Lots? All Dollar Rama is the General? big one in Canada. Dollar Rama? Yeah. I did get an email this weekend. It said... Uh, check it out, Dollarama, now available on DoorDash. Just in case you wanted Dollarama. to pay we used to have, 15 bucks for something from the dollar store. We used to have one called the Looney Toonie. To Ooh. Have, it, I think it was like one and two dollar purchases. The Looney Toonie. You got a feel for them with the kind of like inflation that they've had recently. Like you go to a dollar store here, there's shit in there that's like six ninety nine. Oh, it's cray cray. <gasps> it's hard to run a dollar store now. I mean, if they the only thing you can buy for a dollar these days is 95 cents. Hey, yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this one, Mel? Like that? You just, oh, you go shit, and I... Give her. Oh! <laughs> I think I gotta, like, position myself for a straight shot across. Oh, no, not enough. Yeah, juice. no, that's worth it. Oh, come on. Ooh! Hey, I wow. forgot. I actually had an anecdote. Okay, me and my wife, we uh, we drove out to the old North Road Plaza this weekend. Had a delicious right. Korean meal. Okay, out oh, in Burnaby. 
Um, well, here's the thing. My kid was going ape shit the whole time. Like she was on the bench. She was rolling around. She was like throwing her toy on the ground and stuff like that. She was going crazy. And I was going, I was making what, jokes. Like having and, a tantrum? Not a tantrum, like, just like not sitting nicely. Not, not behaving right. with the decorum you would expect at a restaurant. I get it. She's two. But, right. um, and I was making jokes like, oh, man, I can't wait for her to go back to daycare tomorrow. Oh, honey, how would you like to go to uh, military school? How would you like to go to military school when you're older? <laughs> and just being like, if you don't sign here, I'm like, if you don't, if you don't sit nicely, then you can never have anything you like ever again. And she's like, <laughs> and then at the, <laughs> at the end of the like, the, there was a table just across from us and they got up, you know, maybe 20 minutes after we sat down. And this is, I'd been going off a little bit, right? And one of the guys stood up and said, Hey, Northern Lion, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> nice. wow. oh, I was yeah, like, Oh, hilarious. no. I was not on at all. I was like, All I was doing was munch, 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 munch. And then, like, <laughs> not yelling at my child, but like, Calm down. And then, like, just being completely quiet. I did not make a good impression. Probably sold a video you to TMZ. I mean, honestly, at, at this stage, I, he deserves it for having to sit next to my child for that long. Oh, you can't jump when you're on the brick bit. It's a no jump zone, I think. I think you have to be in the water to to jump. Hmm. Shit. But that's this the thing. The that's why one. you got to be on your best behavior everywhere, because there's there's shooters everywhere. All right, well, listen to this. I went to a zoo um, a couple of years ago with my family in Bristol, okay? And um, so we went, and I only found out about this recently. I don't remember doing this, but apparently I went to the zoo with my family. I paid the admission price for everybody, and then the guy at the thing was like, do you want to, do, you want to like, do this, this additional charge for charity or whatever? And I was like, nah, thanks. You, you have like, I, I don't like to do them, you know, like, because uh, it's, uh, it's everything. It's everywhere, right? Like, yeah. there's always like, add, add add a tip or add this or, or you know, round it up for charity or whatever. So I was like, nah, thanks. It's fine. Like, uh, I won't do it. I wasn't really thinking. And then uh, this, this happened, honestly, like five years ago. And then just recently, somebody wrote into our podcast. Oh, no. Like, I just want to I just want to say that uh, I've been listening to the podcast for years and stuff. But one time I was working at the zoo, he <laughs> Sips came in with his family and he didn't he paid for the admission, but he didn't pay oh. for the charitable tip. And the thing is that I get like a commission for every one of those ones <laughs> that I sell. So I couldn't I couldn't get my my commission for that. So I unsub from him on Twitch. Wow. Very <laughs> you bozo or something like that. <laughs> and it was just like, holy crap, you really do have to watch like uh, how you're acting. Like, For real, like, yeah. Because he, he didn't, I, I don't know if he sort of said hi to me in a way where I would have realized that he was somebody who watched or whatever, you know? No, I think it, the, from the story, it sounds like he was being sneaky. He's like, I'm going to catch him. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to catch him not donating to charity yeah. so that the zoo can get a tax write off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start an actual charity where you donate to our charity, and then we split that up to all the charities that all these corporations try to get you to donate for. Yeah. And then, but we don't we don't take it as a tax credit or a write off or anything. So you're still donating. You're doing the good thing, but you're not giving like you know, um, Walmart a tax write off. Yeah. But I think to like. But uh, why wouldn't to, you take the tax write-off? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean to 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 make it so that somebody has like gets a commission from it. But like I didn't realize. Do you that see that? that? Was the case. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's wild, isn't it? Like it's like, oh, would you like, like to donate two dollars to charity? By the way, I get fifty cents. Like yeah, if but if I known that, I would have probably been like, oh yeah, sure, okay. But I didn't know that. Like there's no way to know that. So it's. It's a, it was a, it's kind of a weird one, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're going to think that this is so like a joke. So if you're listening, but... please, please resub because come on, <laughs> it's been like five years even. now. It's been five years. I think we, yeah, let's bury the hatchet. Wait, anytime I'm at, like if I'm at McDonald's, I round up for Ronald McDonald house and at PetSmart, they're always like, uh, you know, they put something on the interact machine. That's like, would you like to donate like $2 to help pets in need? 
I always yeah. say yes, just in case they know who I am, and also because it makes me feel good. But secondarily, we were talking about it last week. Don't let the don't force the employees to say thank you for that, because it always makes me feel weird. They're like at McDonald's, you round up like a, a eleven sixty nine to twelve dollars, and then the cashier's like, "Thank you so much for your support," and you're like, "You're welcome." It's thirty. I donated thirty one cents to uh, to charity. <laughs> but someone in chat said at Panda Express they ring a bell if you if you do the donation. See, I would I that would really? be like I, that's an anti incentive. That's a disincentive. Yeah, they but ring a it, bell. But then it's like then other people ring a bell and you feel like you have to because other people are expecting it. They're like, oh, there's uh, another person paying. Oh no, they didn't ring the bell. Oh, they're bad. Don't people. ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I wouldn't want the yeah the bell to be rung. Dude, yeah, yeah, they should ring the bell when you don't donate, so everybody looks and goes like, "Oh, look at this guy." In the yeah, uh, I want to say in the past, I think it's how many weeks has it been since we did Canadian gaming? Probably. Like I've been six or seven. meaning to tell you. I went to Cafe Ube hey! not once, but two times in the six weeks that we haven't gamed together. Yo, and uh, it was all right. It, it was has, just all right. Well, it has a three star on on random restaurant. It was bots, just so. okay, yeah. Yeah, it was it was all right. It wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, I thought you'd enjoy that. I, I'm happy I to hear it. You're getting it. a little yeah. culture. I thought I should mention it. It it seems oh, to no. pop up like all the time. It's like random restaurant. Oh, that explains it. There's twice There's as many as I as I thought yeah. there were. They're they're branching out. They're mm -hmm. they're going they're going worldwide. I think. I got a, a bone want, to pick with coffee shops. They and want to bring the ube to the masses. The bone that I have to pick is that the pre-made sandwiches are like always pretty bad. But if they have good sandwiches, they take a while to make. And I don't want that. I want them to have no. pre-made sandwiches that taste good. Yeah, I hate the um, I hate the the sandwiches that you buy in those little like uh, triangle cardboard oh, things the with the plastic store? at uh, the would, grocery store. Would never. And uh, you get home and you open it up and you take a bite and the bread is all soggy. Well, Fuck, I hate that yeah, because so it's been sitting. They're in just the... using cheap bread in there. It's no, like absolutely. they're not using any anything good. So it's like all soggy hey, and gross. Make your own bread, biatch. Yeah, I could, I should, but. Oh, I, any, I any a, so a business I is can. bad, then uh, oh, just do what the business should be doing yourself. Forehead. This guy's got yeah, he's got eight go kids. To a store. Yeah, I'd rather go to a store and just buy <laughs> just a sandwich with the, not soggy bread. bread. Just make the bread for that, That's easier for them to do than it is for me to make my own sandwich with all my kids. Why just not eat bread? I don't get a lot of free time. I don't want to spend what little free time I have making a sandwich. Yeah, you got to be. Uh, I got some gaming to do. Got I got some, some wow and relaxing. Oh god, yeah. Gosh, I've been grind grinding WoW like crazy. Well, I mean, all are this... you gonna play Kerbal Space Program with us? Are you, Ryan? Are you gonna do that too, or are you gonna chicken out? Kerbal Space. Is, is it ever coming, it's coming out? out in like a month? Yeah, okay. It's not coming out in a month. It's been I, delayed. I, expect, delayed. Expected no. release date, uh, March 2021. Yeah. No, I'm not. Like, chat, back me up. Back me up. I'll play it if it comes out, but I don't think it's coming out. Yeah, maybe I'll, it, they'll give you a free code when you go see Austin Powers 4. <laughs> Wait, is it coming out? <laughs> There yes. is a new Austin Powers coming out, right? Yes. I was been saying this for years. <laughs> he yes. has been saying it for years. <laughs> yes. I just, you know, I've just got my wait. finger to the pulse. No. Oh. oh, no, that's oh, not good. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did the same thing. It was on my mind, this, this sandwich stuff, because I, I, of course, I had that landmark tweet this weekend. Um... I hope the guy who invented Egg McMuffin is getting his dick sucked in heaven right now. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. Jesus. It's my own joke. I shouldn't laugh. I don't know but, if they're allowed to do that up in heaven. I, th I think it's seen as like not, not a thing well, that but, they do, right? Wait, 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 it's not a thing that I want to do, but I wouldn't mind being on the receiving end. I wouldn't I mean, either, it's, but I'm just saying. It's like, heaven. Uh, if you, yeah, I know it's heaven, but you're not allowed to go up there and, uh, and kill people, for example. Like, right. If, if that's... You spent your whole life being a good Christian, so you go to heaven and slay. You're not allowed. Like, you're still expected to uphold Christian values while you're there, right? Well, is uh, fellatio an anti-Christian value? Well, I, I think it is, Before marriage, actually, at yeah. least. 
Yeah, I think you gotta be married if you're gonna get here. <laughs> well, he, I didn't say he has to be from like, you know, someone he just met. I just hope he's. It could even be from like a like a machine or something or like a, <laughs> a, a robot. God, that is, that is very unchristian as well. A machine sucking your dick? Come yeah, on, man. It's what are you thinking? Work. I'm just. I just hope he's happy because he earned it. Honestly. I agree. But I don't, I don't agree that a robot should be sucking his dick in heaven. I, I don't care. You guys That's are focused on, you're focused a lot on what's doing the act. <laughs> I'm focusing on the man receiving the act. Because he, des <laughs> he deserves some compensation for his legacy on earth. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask my pastor what the, what, what the deal is on that. I'll ask him next time I talk to him. <laughs> pastor Ron, <laughs> is it okay for a robot to suck your dick in heaven? Uh, if you invented the egg McMuffin, he's like, no, oh, absolutely not. Wait, in heaven? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and he invented the egg McMuffin. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's okay. It's oh, the spilling shit. of seed that's a problem. Why well, didn't say oh. he has to be brought to climax? Yeah. And also, who's to say the seed would be spilled in the first place? Maybe they wouldn't so miss you a could, drop. A robot could do like a dry suck on you as long as you don't just have like come. a little funnel, you know, like when you do an oil change. <laughs> you can't spill <laughs> any seed. Wait, is, so is that is that is that the only thing holding uh, holding you back from enjoying yourself in heaven? You just can't. You could take some. Man, I, what's I was the offered point? some medication uh, for my uh, for my waterworks problems, which which would have effectively that would have happened, right? What? So maybe maybe that's the deal. Then you take. Yeah, there's like uh, you can have some like ejaculation uh, complications off the back of ah. some of this medication if you opt to take it. So maybe that's, uh. maybe if you know that you're going to die and that you're going to go to heaven, you just pop one of those bad boys right before it happens and then it's you're, overdo you're, you're overdosed on beta blockers. <laughs> you're good to go. <laughs> you're good to go in heaven. No problem. Get the machine out. No problem. Hey, what's the name of those pills, Sips? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's so messed up that they have pills that make it so you don't come, but you have to be sick to get them. Yeah, well, it's like I, I don't think they were intended. They weren't like made just for that purpose, right? Like that, they serve another better purpose. But for every for every positive, you have to have a negative. So the negative in this case is the positive is you can pee properly again. The negative is you're never coming again. Mm. I don't know. Pick your poison, I guess. I mean, peeing is pretty important. Yeah, but also peeing, having a nice flow for and and that feeling of relief when you pee, is also pretty good too, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I like all of it, honestly. I'm yeah. glad I don't have to choose. Yeah, I think I enjoy, I I, I enjoy expelling most fluids that would come out of my body right like uh it, it's usually like quite satisfying right well here's in, the thing a lot of ways the worst one is vomit but even oh, that yeah, feels sorry. good to release it just feels bad until it's released yes yeah what about dry heaving though that oh, just doesn't worst. feel good no nah, it's not nothing it's... comes out and it hurts like hell too i should let me rephrase because i'm getting a lot of question marks it doesn't feel good to vomit but you no. feel much better feel right better. after vomiting. You yes. feel, feel better for it. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. When you're Having doing said it, that, you're like, I oh, can't remember throat. the last time I was I vomited. Like uh, it's been so long, and I'm happy about that too. I thought I might when I had norovirus, um, like a week and a half ago, but then I just sort of like knelt down on the bathroom floor for like a minute and coughed into the toilet, and then I was like, no, I'm fine. My uh, my daughter, when she was admitted to a hospital, um, we had to go like to an out of hours uh, GP to to you know yeah, have her yeah. seen uh, because they it was like Sunday night and you know the practice wasn't open whatever so they run this out of hours GP from the from the hospital so we went to the hospital saw the GP and the GP was like okay wow this is insane I've never seen anything like this before I need to talk to the pediatrician pediatrician came in is like this is nuts like uh you're lucky that you came in when you did because this could have gotten a lot worse wow. but we have to admit her 
So I was like, oh, okay. And my daughter was like, does that mean I have to stay over? I was like, yeah, but don't worry. I'm going to stay with you and, you know, we'll go home and get your stuff and everything and whatever. So we went home, got her stuff, came back. And, you know, like I had to sort of say like, oh, you know, we're just having a sleepover like uh, at the hospital. It'll be fun. We'll like we'll watch movies, whatever. And she's like, all right. Like she, she wasn't, she didn't take it too bad. And uh, so we got up to the ward and she was in her bed and everything. And the nurse came in. She's like, you guys hungry? You want anything? And I was like, oh, just, yeah, whatever. Like if you have, have anything, I'll take it like tea or whatever. And she's like, what about you? Do you want some ice cream or some jello or some apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> and my my daughter's just like shaking her head a lot and she's like do you want all three of those and she's like yeah 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 oh, so she's like oh, okay yeah. so she came in with ice cream jello and apple juice my daughter like plowed through very quickly and then i looked over at her i was like how was that and she was like good and then she started doing like that the heaving motion oh no. like uh, and i was like oh fuck here we go and then uh and then she's just like barfed everywhere but then she was fine immediately after, which which proves the point, right? It's not it's not nice to to barf, but after you barf, you feel great, right? And then did she it get was some just more ice a, cream? she got some more ice cream, yeah, unbelievably, <laughs> yeah, they gave her more ice cream, and <laughs> and she ate it as well, and it was no it was no problem. So I don't know. If you really wanted to make her feel better, you should have told her um, when you were in the hospital, hey, at least we don't live in the United States, because uh, then this would be <laughs> costing us, like... Because apparently, yeah. any anytime you get sick in another country, you should just immediately be like, thank God I'm not American. No, it's insane. Yeah. Um, I mean, for all that, she was in the hospital for, for two nights. They they fed her, they everything. Uh, like, drugs, food, all that. I think in total we paid sixty pounds for the out of hours GP visit. That's that it. is yeah. pretty good. It's not bad. And then four hundred dollars for parking overnight. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, not quite four hundred dollars, but it feels like it sometimes for sure. Yeah, fucking parking. Eh? I think that there would be like uh, I think you can actually uh, claim claim it back at the hospital if you if you're if you're in the hospital. And you could prove that you were in the hospital. You can you can claim it back, but I don't know. It's like fifteen bucks. You oh, think yeah, by it's, now it's we, we would just have it's cars not. that like when you push the lock button, they like um, just fold up into like the size of a briefcase, and then you could oh, just carry it into, the, <laughs> into the store. With, oh no! I left my dog in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So that's how they make hot dogs. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. What a shot. Oh, it's a par two? I thought I was uh, going oh. to claw back some points there. But no. There it is. American healthcare is a nightmare. I, I just, just can't imagine having to pay that much. Because uh, I cause I, I, I grew up in a country where we didn't have to, to, to pay, like... Uh, up front like that and and now i live in a country where i still don't have to pay so i've never had to pay a huge medical bill before in my life i would just like to say it that i feel like shit if i had to at this point i hope the guy who invented socialized medicine is getting his dick yes. sucked in heaven right now and yeah. eating a mcmuffin <laughs> well and eating, eating a McMuffin. mcmuffin <laughs> and i hope that it's a robot sucking his dick as well. sure why not oh my god this guy is having it all yeah but it's a it, it. But I hope it's a very precise robot that knows not to suck to completion as well. Mm -hmm. Like just stops right before, right? Uh -huh. Or he has some of those edging, yeah. those kryptonite pills that, <laughs> that you're gonna message me about after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's. Uh... I need to take my shot. Do I have to go in the cannon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is... Got him! <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. yeah. To your list of guys who have their junk sorted out in heaven. Sorted out? Do you have to time it with the explosion, or does it not matter? You gotta, you gotta like... go in when the door's open. Yeah, when the door's open, get in, but don't go too far. You might be able to bounce it up there, too. I don't know. I could have bounced it, actually. It looked like it would have taken the bounce. What does he mean junk sorted out in heaven? Just like, you know, they're they're set. They're like made made you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna get a lot of um dick Oh, like those recipe videos that were like sorted. 
I know what you're oh. talking about, yeah. Just like, you know, people like the guy who invented penicillin, he's probably getting a BJ a day. I hope the guy who invented uh, paid parking is, he's got the beans above the frank right now. <laughs> <laughs> paid parking? Yeah, because I, I don't like him. I hope oh, he's. Yeah. I hope he's got the beans above the frank. Quite frankly, I don't know what that means. You've never seen there's something about Mary. Uh, I've actually only seen bits of it. I've never seen the whole thing. You know? Oh come no, on! You haven't seen the. I've it. seen the hair gel. Oh, scene. of course. You haven't seen oh, the beans above the frank. No, I don't think so. Oh, you could do it. Nothing's coming to mind. Considering so you've not. seen Ready to Rumble like twenty times, you gotta see. Uh, <laughs> you gotta see. <laughs> there's something about Mary. All right. What the? What movies have you guys seen recently, and what's coming out that I should uh, try to watch? The I, the movie I watched recently, which actually came out somewhat recently, I think, was the remake of All Quiet on the Western Front. Which, oh, yeah, uh, okay. I thought it was good, but also really, really depressing as well. Mm. I don't know. It's okay, I the good the guys Banshee won. Movie. Yeah, but I mean, come on, it's just like... It's... You gotta stop watching uh, stuff like that. It just... Um doesn't spark joy you know well, everyone's I know it's well done and important and stuff but like it's still i don't know i need to watch something a bit more upbeat i think well everyone keeps telling me to watch puss in boots and i told them i'm waiting until they, oh, yeah. they make puss in high heels puss in boots meow <laughs> it's like my seventh time trying to make that joke work <laughs> okay, i just got like a notepad next to me that's like puss in thigh highs with like a <laughs> strike no, through I, puss in maybe like puss in uggs or something what the hell puss is that <laughs> puss Jesus in Christ, uggs no. it's just vile no, it's way just way it's too disgusting as well what the hell's your well they got it got people talking so i guess <laughs> oh what how does this one work Puss in Crocs, that's a good one. Yeah, but I like the, Crocs too. Yeah, but the, do you get the... Uh, well, you know what, whatever, it's not worth it. it puss in Crocs <laughs> with socks. No, explain it, Ryan, explain it. What's your problem with Puss in Crocs? Well, it's like, it. It. the joke is that you're using the second meaning of the word puss. And puss then in, instead of boots, you're picking something else that is frequently fetishized. There is a Puss in Boots... Um... Antonio Banderas does uh, Puss in Boots for Shrek, right? But they made a show, a Puss in Boots show. Puss in Flops? Like flip -flops? <laughs> Puss in Flops. No, thanks. That's okay. It sounds fun. Puss in Flops. Antonio... That rolls off the tongue. Antonio Banderas. The mask of Zorro. Zorro is Fox. <gasps> I'm bad. I'm bad at golf. Par. Got par. I watched Megan. Puss oh, in uh, let's a go. digit. Wait. I need to see oh, that. Oh, the, the horror movie one. Yeah, Megan. Megan. <laughs> that's a, that's, it's fun. That's a robot. She is a robot, yeah. <laughs> no comment, though. Dude, they, oh, they should do like, uh, you know, Alien versus Predator style. It should be. Uh, Alien Chucky versus Predator. Megan. Alien versus Predator versus Chucky versus Megan. Yes. Oh, is it Megan God. or Megan? It's, it's Megan, Megan, but it's much okay. funnier to say Megan. Megan. In my opinion, at least. Dude, oh man, that's a billion dollar idea. Chucky versus Megan. You're welcome, uh, Paramount or whoever. Wait, do you think they'll have some Fortnite skins for Megan? Uh, it, I think it's within the realm of possibility. I give it like a 15% chance that they put Megan skin in Fortnite. See, Fortnite will get Megan skins, and then Fall Guys will get All Quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> their skins are just like that, aren't they? They're just like, they're, they're skins of things that should just not be made into skins half the time. And and normally aimed at a at a much older demographic as well, right? Fall Guys has, uh, I saw it in Justin's stream. They got SpongeBob now. Oh, yeah. wow, that's a big get. But I do feel like it's always like, you know, Fortnite is like, um... Hey, coming to Fortnite, current president, Joe Biden. And then Fall Guys is like, hey, remember um, who let the dogs out? Is the, we, <laughs> we've, cool had, <laughs> we've added That's all three of the Baja Sims men. Like my card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Remember uh, Ham Taro, the, the hamster dance song? We added Ham Taro in the, in the Fall Guys. You can collect little bits of hamster food to unlock new parts of the skin. Banshees of Insurance with Colin Yeah, Farrell that's the Colin Farrell and uh, 
I don't That's like the guy. He's in the he's in the Bat e Eternals movie. He plays Brendan the... Gleeson. Yeah, apparently he was in. No, wait. You're Boston you're talking Holmes? about something. You're talking about another guy whose name I've forgotten. But yeah, he was like in Thirteen Foster. Barry Keel. Yeah, and now he's like nominated for an Oscar. My man. You know, it'd be more impressive if he was in Thirteen Ghosts and then he got nominated for an Oscar because that movie, <laughs> hoof. Not very oh, good. Not very good. Ghost. Here's a sequel idea. 13 ghost ships. Or Dude! <laughs> 13 ghost ships. <laughs> now that would have been something. Man, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. There's a movie called Ghost Ship. Oh, okay. It's about a know, ship it's... full of ghosts. Yeah, probably. Is the ship itself a ghost or does it... Are the I don't inhabitants think so. It's, of not, the... it's no. not Ghostbusters. They're... Uh... At uh, at my local movie theater, they're uh, they're going to be showing Titanic 3D. Wow! 3D. No, I don't know. I didn't even know that they still did 3D movies or even bothered with it. I wish that the driver of the Titanic had some 3D glasses on because this shit was coming right for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It is kind of wild to think, you know. They just ran into a iceberg. Bro, like it doesn't move. Yeah. If uh, it had, if I'd been well. there, it wouldn't have gone down like that. Let's put it that way. You, Ryan, your your uh, your rose is like uh, your your uh, Billy Zane in Titanic. That's who you are. I have an opinion Wait. that is. I I think actually like people over the age of fifty would be like you should be in prison, but people our age are gonna be like that's true. I don't think that men should have to get on the lifeboats last. Kids. <laughs> Kids, sure. That makes perfect sense to me. Can't get them on last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, like once all the kids are on the lifeboats, I'm like, it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I hope they got enough capacity for everybody, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not saying it should be like one man, one woman. I'm saying like, you know, you should, it shouldn't just automatically just be like the women get to the go next. Just lifeboats uh, like a real life IRL quick time event. Like, you got to... Do something. You gotta press W on your keyboard well, quickly. Well, I think that's, uh, you, that's what I'm saying. Is like you up. should just get on, and then, you know, if your wife looked at you and was like, "What the hell?" You'd be like, "Well, I'm already on. What do you want me to do? Like, you I'm want me to? You, seat. You, you want me to get off the lifeboat now? They gotta load balance out the lifeboats. I feel like because if it's just women and children, and if they're just prioritizing children, you have one lifeboat and it's just filled with children. Oh, what the man. hell? Like, what are you going to do? What if no, they get you know what? on an island and then you got Lord of the Flies, Lord of the Flies. on your hands? You're yeah, absolutely man. right. I'm going down with they the gotta ship. They got to load balance it out. You got to have a couple of uh, you got to have a couple of adults on there and then a couple of kids as well. They can't just uh, you can't just do a one whole. You need a mixed load. At least what you what they got to do, put like a GoPro with each lifeboat so that if they do get stranded, then you can like, you know, capitalize. You got to show, you know, real life. Yeah. Real life, um, wait, what's the, what's the imagine that that is a YouTube video? What's the, the GoPro, GoPro for? The GoPro is so that you can, uh, you can make a, a video after you can, it's yeah, make a, a it's like a, yeah, just like a Truman Show BR. <laughs> I, I've said it a few times, but like, um, I think if if I were in like a disaster situation, well, let me put it this: this is like not an I almost died story, but when we were on the Disney cruise on Pirate Night, the you ship almost died. Well, the ship did catch on fire, and then at, at first we were all like, "Whoa, there's real fire!" And then the, someone like a page rushed out on stage and started talking to Chippendale, and then Chippendale ran the fuck off stage, and I was like, "We're all gonna die!" <laughs> Jesus Christ! But once once the mascots start. Like, they got ushered into, like, a special door I didn't even know existed on the side of the ship. I was like, oh, no, that's, like, the panic room. We're all done. But Man, I was, movie. I was like, following the instructions that were on the announcements and, like, starting to move towards our muster station and stuff like that. 90% of the other people on the ship were going, like, are they going to redo Pirate Night? Are we going to, are we ever going to, like, there's supposed to be fireworks. Like, I don't want to leave and, like, miss my spot. I had a really good spot to see the fireworks. And I'm like, if, if one of those fuckers is in front of me, we have to, like, evacuate the airplane or something like that. If they stop to, like, go into their backpack to get a granola bar or something, I'm pushing them over. 100%. You had your chance. I'm, if you're in front of me, you're in front of me. If you stop for even a second, your ass is going down. Did they redo Pirate Night, though? 
they they did not redo Pirate Night. Come on, I, dude. People, I was like just happy bullshit. to be alive. So many people were genuinely like, we should get like a that partial refund review. for Pirate when Night. The, when you left the cruise, they're like, hey, can you f fill out this feedback form? And then you could have just uh, simply put, no repeat Pirate Night is BS. <laughs> M and then the number eight. I don't care if it well. is for our safety. I paid for Pirate Night. I mean, I was I was worried that I was gonna like die. I was gonna burn to death in the ocean, which is already like an ironic way to go. And I was yeah. my corpse was gonna be dressed as a fucking pirate. Like that's just not how I wanna. That's not the legacy I wanna leave. I told this isn't how I go. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you you uh, look into the eyes of the witch from Big Fish. You see your ass burning to death on at pirate night. I'd be like, <laughs> I I would never get a restful night's sleep ever again. Uh. Dude, that reminds me of, so like, you know when you're in an airport and they do, they have like the priority to like, uh, uh, like zone one, zone two, like gets like, uh, boarded first and then like yeah, zone yeah. three, zone four or whatever, like that kind of thing. It happened and I was like zone three or four, but then there's people from zone five or six that were oh, just like waiting in the line ahead. Shit drives me crazy, man. And because oh at first you don't know, you're like, oh, are they actually, they are just in line. So I'm waiting behind them for like, you know, an extra 10 minutes looking like a fool. <laughs> and everybody's just also waiting behind them. And then they're like, is anybody from zone three or four? And then like, like they, then we had to like move up, but it was just like, frick off, man. Like you don't need to be in the line. And then they're probably you're like, oh, it takes forever to board. Yeah. Like, freaking sit down, dude. Like, the lady had to tell me six times to go to the back of the line because they hadn't called my zone yet. Yeah. Just, like... Take Just listen to the announcement. Yeah. Did you pay for your uh, ticket with air miles, or did you, um... Did you book, um... Cold hard cash. Cold hard cash. Yeah. Cash? No, I don't I think mean, you can get a... If you visa. book a, a flight with air miles... <laughs> Can you get an upgrade, like if you ask at the desk, or or is it a big no? Uh, I mean, I think as long, as long as you pay the difference. I don't know if you could do that with more air, air miles. I don't know if you can. I, I don't know how. I mean, air, I I'm like really a I, I'm miles. like a very keep it simple kind of guy when it comes to airplanes and whatnot. Just get there early. Six, six or seven to. double IPAs at the bar <laughs> closest to the gate. Yeah. I was tempted. I was tempted, but I wasn't taking my mask off for those jabronis. <laughs> you guys still have to wear. Do you have to wear masks still? No. Are they, people wearing them a lot still? And the airlines are like, you don't have to wear them. We strongly recommend it. And then like yeah. even I saw like one of the actual flight crew was wearing it, and I'm like. Man, you're around a lot of people from all over, aren't you? Like a little afraid? It's the holiday season. You might get a little something, something. You know? I his ass is like, just send it, man. Oh, my shot. Even just like a, con I feel like you know. It's just a, a nice excuse to not even get like a cold or something. Yeah. It probably helps. Yeah. I thought a plane was like the safest place to be too. Didn't they? Didn't the airline sponsor a study that was like actually the only place you can't get COVID is on an airplane? Really? I know every other time know. you fly ever you get sick, but uh, this one disease. Yeah, I get sick the, all the damn time when I. <laughs> the yeah. airplane just uniquely is designed to kill it. Yeah, I. Uh, I mean, yeah. I come to think that I felt great after getting back except for my ears because i double mask ah, so like yeah. i had like bruises on the top of my freaking ears because jesus yeah hashtag worth it though can double you mask. like um so i stole this from chat but can you lie about um being an active service personnel to just get on the airplane early i don't know if you can mm. but uh, at certain airports in the u.s you can they have complimentary um, internet ready computers and shower rooms so i know what? this because <laughs> well Sorry. i mean if you're spending a lot of time in an airport that's how's that going to help me board early though it doesn't well it does it just take your mind off it no oh, that's true you're you're on the internet on a computer and you're taking a nice hot shower and stuff you don't really care about boarding early i guess you're going to be late if anything right 
I, I've come around to uh, boarding early, though. I used to think, like, what's the point? We're all going to get there at the same time. Then I realized that um, the boarding process is not about getting onto the airplane. It's about a battle royale for the limited amount of overhead bin space. Yeah. And oh, nobody wants to is, pay yeah. for checked bags. So they all no, try to rush the... Bags yeah. Anymore, yeah. It's wild. Which is well, fair. You don't want to lose them. Because they freaking lose that crap. I've had it happen. And on my... I got in late. And they're like, yeah, there's not enough space, so everybody from this point on, you're like complimentary, you're gonna check your bags. And I was like, oh, frick, here we go. I get back. I was waiting in baggage claim for over an hour. I hate that. Jeez. Just to get the thing. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta to drive for many hours, and it's already freaking midnight, dude. What are you doing to me? So yeah, it's like, no wonder people don't like to check their bag, because you keep freaking losing it. the hell i think you guys oh, no. should check it though so that i can take my stuff in the carry-on oh well you don't get me started so there's this lady that sat in the it's funny she sat in the middle between me and this other guy i'm sitting in the window he's sitting in the aisle she shows up and she just straight up point blank she before she's like uh can i have the aisle seat and he's, wow. like, and, and he's like no <laughs> and uh she's like are you sure he's like yep uh and i was like oh man and, uh, yeah, there was a lot of, uh, people couldn't have their bags on. She put two bags in the overhead. Oh, dude. I was like, so you're the, you're that kind of person. You know what kind of person I am? I, 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 I check in, uh, like my bags, like I don't check them in, sorry. I, I, I take carry on bags, but then if we're with the kids, we end up with like a whole bunch of extra plastic bags filled with crap as well. Of so course, like, yeah. not only are you putting your backpack up there, but also just random plastic bags full of stuff that they bought in the in the terminal or whatever too. Wow. That's that's the kind of traveler I am, man. Yeah. yeah, but you got kids. That's different. She was by yeah, herself. I can't help it. It's the thing. They just they want so much stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, you can get away with like a lot of stuff if you have a a child or multiple yeah. children. Like, I, no wonder they get to get on the airplane early. Yeah, they, go, they have to. They're basically just not getting on if they don't get on early. I mean, they're just, you, you can't rely on them to really be that efficient. No, they're not. Traveling with children is like my worst nightmare. It's not that bad. Because, no, like, you get, you get all the training at home for, like, you know, temper tantrums and, like, dirty diapers and stuff like that. So when you're on an airplane, you're like, oh, it's... Not just that. Most people are very sort of, like they let you go first and stuff and i think they're mm -hmm. hoping that they can uh they can cash in all their karma so that your kid doesn't just scream the whole time on the plane and they think like... if they're nice to you like in the terminal that yeah, your, yeah. your kid isn't gonna scream the whole way and you know it's nice to tell ourselves like comforting lies sometimes it is yeah Ooh. oh my god i'm a fool no i thought i had it Man, I hope the guy that let me get on the airplane in front of him is <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 It is kind of hard to travel with kids. The more the more you have as well. The, the oh, I can imagine. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of... Because... Uh, it's it's simple things too you know like if you're on a big transatlantic flight or whatever you're waiting for your next flight after you've landed after flying all night you can't just fall asleep in the airport when you have kids because somebody will just kidnap them right so you you have to be <laughs> you gotta be <laughs> you gotta be on it that's true yeah, i never really thought about that but that is true what the heck I took my daughter to see the the hockey game on Friday. Oh yeah, that's about the it. One, yeah, then you guys nice. We won! Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's like what, isn't almost it, the end of January. Like the coach from the Vancouver coach retiring he got fired. or something? Yeah, or he, he, got fired. he got fired because the team sucks. Oh. It's not really his fault. Yeah, it's it's upper. This is the GM. But like you know, all she did for like the whole game 
was was dance whenever there it was like an inverted hockey game like whenever there was hockey she was like i don't like it here and then whenever they were just playing some music in between the whistles she would like stand up on the floor and just go like uh 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 and then when the game started she would sit down and be like mm. Do they still play all the classics at the hockey game? Like, oh. Nah, 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 hey, nah, 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 no, nah, that nah, guy nah. got canceled. Yeah, that was big time. It's, uh, that was Gary Glitter, right? Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. They don't play... Um, they, the one I miss the most is... Nah, 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 nah. Oh, yeah, it's in Shaun of the Dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, they don't... Do, 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 I don't know what happened. Do, 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 do. That's not in vogue anymore for whatever reason. I think they got canceled as well. I, really? the, Kerncraft 400 got canceled? No, I'm just joking. I don't know. I Maybe. would honestly, on that one, I'd be inclined to separate the art from the artist because that song is really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It is a good one. Do they ever play Darude Sandstorm at uh, hockey? Yeah, now yes. and then. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. I can't remember if I told you this, but uh, we the last game we went to before this, it was 90s night. We only stayed for two periods. They played the Friends theme song three times. What? There's a There's a whole... I mean, like, there's a lot of songs, I think, that came out in the in the 1990s. Why you just keep going back to the Rembrandts, I'll be there for you. I mean, I recognize, like, on 90s night, you gotta play it, like, at least once, but... And probably also, like, at most once. What's the deal with the uh, with the lead singer of the Rembrandts? Like, what, uh, what nationality? No idea. <laughs> I don't think I've ever so seen. One uh... told you it was gone. Like, what what uh, what accent is that supposed to be? I, does he sound like that? Yeah, yeah he does. I, like, think I thought he, he just sounds like a normal guy. Memories. Yeah, jobs yeah. a joke. You broke. I love life the old way. See, that's like, the way I don't they know where... done it. I, think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he's meant to be from. I think he just sounds like kind of. He's American. It just sounds sort of normal to me. In fact, like I don't think he's doing in, that at all. Gear. Yeah, he no, he's is not. for sure. No, he's not. You're Listen actually, closely. You're no, no, I mean, I heard it three times like a month ago. Yeah, I know, but you weren't listening closely. Well, that's true. You, you <laughs> just heard it was on. You were just like, oh, yeah, this song. But like, if you listen. Crank closely, it. Yo, turn it up. Yeah. Plus, and I if can't... you listen to it backwards as well. It's got some uh, subliminal messages. Yeah, yeah. Well. If you listen We're to it backwards, so you'll be there for them. Yeah. I can't watch Friends anymore because Chandler's canceled. If you play, if you play the "I'll Be There for You" uh, backwards, um, it changes the lyrics and it says, "I hope the guy who invented the egg muffin." <laughs> I hope the guy who invented the egg muffin. <laughs> Yeah, Chandler's canceled because he keeps saying he thinks uh, uh, Keanu Reeves should be dead. He didn't Rivers say. Phoenix. He didn't what? say <laughs> that. He's like, he he, he's like, no, he said for his. Book, he's <laughs> Nobody like, would say that. He no. said if it, one of them had to be dead, why couldn't yeah, it be Keanu like, Reeves? He didn't it's, even say that. He There's did, no way he anyone did. says that. No, he said. He said, why are we, it was like, you know, we're stuck with, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know what the quote is. It, it, it's bad sips. He, he did he say, did like, say um, like, why did got, River okay. Phoenix? Reeves instead of, All right. Wait, okay. Was this like uh, recorded on somebody's phone when he was drinking with one other no, person it's like or something? An interview like, for that, yeah, it was in like Esquire. Little book. Oh, come on. There's no way. Well, I'm I mean, if, yeah. I think if he if he's if he's getting canceled for that, he deserves it. Cause What's that, the actual a dumb quote? Can say. somebody post the actual quote? Why do original thinkers not, like I'm, Keith Ledger and River Phoenix have to die while Keanu Reeves still walks amongst us? <laughs> yeah. come on. Really? The first part of the sentence, sure. The second part of the sentence, as his publicist, I would say, does not have to be there. Like, Keanu Reeves, literally, he didn't even do anything in the... To, to provoke his ire in the first yeah, place. Yeah, he's considered one of the sweetest guys in, like, Hollywood, period. <laughs> every, uh, every Keanu Reeves story, I'm not saying, because I don't know if he's a nice guy, but every story is, like, after the production of uh, The Matrix 2, Keanu Reeves bought everybody on the crew their own house. No, it's Harley's, but yeah. I he bought Harley's for everybody? For, for, like, the, the stunt crew or whatever, yeah. Holy shit. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I think he's kind of Keanu Reeves is kind of inspired by Mr. Beast a little bit, but I say Mr. Beast is like he more of a hero. Of videos, yeah. Yeah. 
Did Mr. Beast buy uh, Harley's for all of his uh No, but apparently he too? gave 100 people, uh, he cured them of blindness. He did He did cure, a, pay oh. for the surgery to cure a thousand people's blindness. Oh, a thousand. Jesus. And did, did it work? Mm. Watch video you you, you gotta watch now. the video to find out. Oh, shit. Does anybody have the Coles notes for that one? I think it worked, yeah. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that's not, that's, that's pretty good though, right? I mean, I support it. I, it is like, there's something very Black Mirror about like something so heartwarming like that, but then the thumbnail is him like with his mouth open and then like a yeah. kid with his, with his eyes yeah. wide open with tears coming down his face. But yeah. I think it's like objectively good for society, although it's also easy to be a little, I don't know, cynical about it. Let me put it this way, there's there's worse things you could be doing on YouTube, I guess. Yeah, I like um, crushing skills with a hydraulic press. Now that guy's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, did he cure um, some blindness uh, as well while he was crushing or? If just, anything, just he's crushing. probably caused a little bit of blindness yeah, using the, the hydraulic the, the, press. The shards of Skittles just getting mm -hmm. shot out. Right oh my god, this one's crazy. Is there a way to get a hole in one on this? Oh shit. This is just an average day driving in Vancouver, honestly. I don't think you can hole in one this one, right? Oh, maybe I, you can actually. Probably. Just gotta get no! Once it goes into the tube. Oh, you can't even. Let's go. <laughs> but you can get such a good bounce here. Oh wait, do you have to use the portal things? No, if anything, I think you you might want to avoid them. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! I didn't realize that that corner was rounded. Yo. My dad sent him. He's scanning all these old photos. He sent one of me when I'm a kid. It's a recognition certificate. Michael Fox, who demonstrated love and understanding in his or her relationship with his fellow peers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. That's when did you a, get that? Does the citizenship I, award? I look pretty. I look like I'm probably like six years old in that photo. And I got a I got a Mr. B smile. Not actually, my eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah. I'm, bl I'm blind. Do I have any? Am I the asshole stories for NL? No. Well, I guess the uh, the one where I didn't pay the the charitable donation thing at the zoo. I think you're not the asshole. Okay, good. I also think that the other person's not really the asshole either. I think the institution no, no, think of the it... zoo is the asshole. I think the whole thing was just kind of funny, but maybe not so funny for the guy who didn't get commission for the... Aren't for you the already making thing. a charitable donation just by going to the zoo? Like, isn't that a... In isn't itself, that a charity I, of some sort? I think it is, yeah. Or is it I just a business? Be, I, don't I don't know. Man, I don't know. <laughs> um, listen, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go I know, do this sponsored, yeah. uh, this sponsored thing. But, what's, it, um, what's it for? It's uh, it's an it's a it's an Nvidia sponsorship, but Ooh. we're playing Overwatch.